This is why I hate the term virtual assistant. Now you might be wondering why the owner of an overseas outsourcing agency hates the term virtual assistant. And the reason why is because it is so broad. It is so generic. Now, I believe the term virtual assistant originated with Tim Ferriss's four hour work week. For those of you that don't know what that is, he wrote a book, I wanna say it was about almost 20 years ago, of basically how to work less for more time. And that was really when the whole outsourcing, delegating thing really took off because at the time it was as simple as, hey, go and outsource to the Philippines for a dollar an hour or go and outsource to India for 50 cents an hour. It got a bad reputation. You know, that term is still used to this day, but I believe it is a term that a real legitimate business owner should try to do away with. And the reason why is because every time somebody says that they need a virtual assistant, it's code for, I don't know what I actually want to hire for. What I mean by that is that virtual assistant ends up being all your eggs into this one basket, which is, I can hire someone to just do anything. For example, I have an economics degree. Does that mean I should go be an architect and build bridges? No. Because you have a computer engineering degree, should you be a nutritionist? No. I mean, we don't even, degrees don't even matter in a lot of cases with jobs. Employers just wanna know that you can actually do the job. But when you say virtual assistant, what it becomes is that somebody says they can do this job. And then people, they hire a virtual assistant and lo and behold, they're disappointed when the performance is bad because they hired a virtual assistant to be a virtual assistant. Most people will sit there and they will say, I just want someone to talk to my customers and I want somebody to SEO my websites and I want somebody to make Canva graphics and I want somebody to occasionally go through my mail or pick up a pizza for me, even though it's a virtual assistant. The point is people have this huge laundry list of things they want their virtual assistant to do and the virtual assistant has none of the skills to do any of them. So instead, as a business owner, ask yourself, what are the tasks I am stuck on and what am I struggling with and what can you reasonably outsource? For example, if you're not an organized person and you're struggling with finishing projects in your business, why don't you get a project manager? Now, a legitimate project manager is not going to be happy with being called a virtual assistant. Most business owners who say I need a VA, they don't actually know what a VA is. The term virtual assistant became something that was way too easy to describe anyone who was doing something online. Like how much good does that do? Absolutely nothing. There's no point in hiring somebody if there's not a defined role for them. That gave the bad rep to so many VAs, a lot of them undeservedly so. Then it became, they're incompetent, they're flaky, they're unreliable, because then people don't know what they're doing. So it's the cycle. You hire a virtual assistant, you don't really know what you need them for, but you give them a bunch of tasks. So you say, oh, hey, can you make a few Canva graphics for me? And four hours later, they come to you, oh yeah, here's your two graphics. Like, and you say, well, wait a minute, I'm paying all this money for you to, to do that. That's not a fair output, but you haven't provided structure. You haven't given them a role and you haven't defined the expectations. So they're doing what they're told to do. You're unhappy about it, but at the end of the day, nobody's winning. They're not gonna get to keep their job. You're gonna get rid of them. You're not getting what you need out of it. So at the end of the day, ultimately, nobody wins. This is why I try to steer people out of thinking about virtual assistants. Your inbox manager is not a virtual assistant. Your executive assistant is not a virtual assistant. Your project manager is not a virtual assistant. Your social media manager is not a virtual assistant. Do they all work virtually? Yes. Do they all assist you in some way? Yes. But if that is the only title you're willing to give them, that's the only thing about the role that you can define it with, guess what? They're probably going to fail in that role. Every business has unique needs. Maybe you actually do need a virtual assistant. There are some businesses that can say, I need a virtual assistant, and they actually have a clearly defined role for that. But there's way too many business owners that have no idea what they actually need someone to hire for. And the result is bad overseas hires, frustrated business owners, candidates who lose their job, and a whole host of other issues that could be fixed very easily if you just did an audit of your time, figured out what you didn't want to do in your business, figured out what you could reasonably outsource, and then hired the right person to actually do that job and gave them a chance to do that job. The last thing I want to mention is screen tracking apps. So a lot of people want to hire someone abroad and then watch their every movement on the screen. Like number one, is that a good use of your time as a business owner? It's probably not. Well, let me change that. It's definitely not a good use of your time. Second of all, how would you like to work in a place like that where your boss is just constantly over your shoulder? You know, if you were in an office, that would be equivalent to just staring over their shoulder as they work. Who wants to work in a place like that? Nobody. No, no one with self-respect, no high performing employee is going to tolerate that nonsense. So if you cannot define someone's role and you can't hold them accountable for their hours, then guess what? Maybe it's not time to hire yet. And that's okay. You'll get there. But if you have problems, if you are lacking time and you feel like you need help in order to drive your business forward, then it is the time, but it may not be time for a virtual assistant. It may be time to define an actual role for this person to do. And I guarantee you, you will have better success when you do that than if you just call them a virtual assistant. In conclusion, the term virtual assistant is code word for jack of all trades and master of none. 
Don't say, I need a virtual assistant. Say, I need someone to help me manage my clients. See how much different that sounds? See how much more clear that is? See how much easier it is to maybe find somebody to fill that role? I understand that as a business owner, hiring for the first time, or even the second, third, fourth, tenth time can be a pretty daunting process. And that is why at Hire You Way, we make a real genuine effort to nail down into your business and figure out what it is you're actually struggling with. You can expect to get on a sales call and be made somewhat uncomfortable. Where are you spending your time? What do you hate doing? What do you think is the most monotonous task you do? These are questions we're going to ask in order to work with you. Because if you can't define what your problem is, you cannot expect someone to solve it. At Hire Your Way, we're extremely good at placing talented Ukrainians at 80% cheaper costs than you usually would pay in the Western world. And I promise you, these people are the cream of the crop. They do a fantastic job in all the businesses we place them in. But that comes with a caveat. You need to know what you want them to do. You need to have clearly defined roles and procedures for them to follow. But if you'd like to speak more about this with our team, please visit the link below hire-ua.com. Either myself or one of my sales associates will be taking your call and we will get to the bottom of what is sucking away your time, your energy, and we'll put someone in your business who can help you solve all of it.